Assalamu alaikum students hope you are fine by the grace of Allah today I am here for class 5 English version students so today students today I'll be discussing about chapter 12 climate change of your elementary science book so students let's start our chapter so students we are now in chapter 12 climate change at first in the first topic will be about the global warming what is global warming what, what are the results of global warming then in the second topic second topic you will be able to know about the greenhouse effect what type of effects are falling due to greenhouse gases then human activities and global warming observation facts of the global warming etc then in the third lesson you are able to know about the climate change of our country bangladesh about the climate change mitigation adaptation and how we can how we can mitigate this climate change then in the 95 page, you will, you will get a chart about the disaster calendar of Bangladesh in which season or which month of the year, what happens and what type of disasters happen. For example, you can see here that cyclone happens in April to May and October to November. Flood, heavy rain, thunder occurs from June to September. And there is also cold wave, heat wave between January, February and December. Now students, let's go through the exercises of this chapter. So elementary science class 5 chapter 12 climate change. So students at first we'll go through some tick marks. Number 1. Which one is a greenhouse gas? A nitrogen, B oxygen, C carbon dioxide, and D hydrogen. The answer will be C carbon dioxide. Number 2. How does climate change happen? A. Suddenly. B. Quickly. C. Evenly. D. Gradually. The answer will be D. Gradually. Then our third question. Which one is the climate change mitigation? A. Use of coal and oil. B. Use of solar energy. C. Deforestation. D. Use of natural gas. The correct answer will be A. Use of coal and oil. Number 4. Which one is not the cultural hazard of Bangladesh? A. Cyclone B. Hurricane C. Norwester D. Flood The correct answer will be B. Hurricane Now students, let's go through some short question answers. Number 1. What is global warming? Answer. Global warming is a long term increase in Earth's average temperature. Number 2. What is the main cause of the global warming? Answer. The main cause of global warming is human activity. Number 3. Give an example of the climate change in Bangladesh. Answer. Climate change in Bangladesh is a pressing issue due to its low-lying geography and high population density. One of the most noticeable impacts is rising sea levels. Number 4. What are the effects of global warming on the environment? Answer. Global warming has numerous de detrimental effects on the environment. Here are some key examples. Rising sea levels. As glaciers and ice caps melt, sea levels rise, leading to coastal erosion, flooding and saltwater intrusion into freshwater sources. Extreme weather events. More frequent and intense heat waves, droughts, floods and storms are becoming common due to climate change. Now students, let's go through some descriptive question answers. So here is the first question. Why the inside of greenhouse remains warm? Explain. Answer. The inside of a greenhouse remains warm due to the greenhouse effect. This natural process occurs when sunlight enters a transparent structure such as a greenhouse and is absorbed by the objects inside. The absorbed energy is then re emitted as heat which is trapped within the greenhouse by the glass or other transparent material. Number 2. How do climate change mitigation and climate change adaptation related to each other? Answer. The relationship between mitigation and adaptation is complex. While both are essential, their relative importance may vary depending on the specific circumstances of a particular region or community. In some cases, mitigation may be the primary focus, while in others, adaptation may be more urgent. However, it is increasingly recognized that the combination of both mitigation and adaptation is necessary to effectively address the challenges of climate change. 
Now our third question, how can we mitigate climate change? Answer, mitigation of climate change involves reducing greenhouse gas emissions to slow down the rate of global warming. Here are some key strategies. Number one, transition of to renewable energy, shifting from fossil fuels like coal, oil, natural gas to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, hydro, geothermal and biomass can significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Number 2. Improve energy efficiency. Increasing energy efficiency in buildings, transportation and industrial process can reduce the overall demand for energy, leading to lower emissions. This can be achieved through measures like energy efficient appliances, better insulation and improved transportation systems. Number 3. Promote sustainable land use practices. Protecting forests, planting trees, and restoring degraded ecosystems can help absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Additionally, sustainable agriculture and forestry practices can reduce emissions associated with land use change. Fourth question Why the atmosphere of the earth works as the glass of a greenhouse? Answer. The Earth's atmosphere acts like the grass of a greenhouse due to the greenhouse effect. This natural process occurs when certain gases in the atmosphere, known as greenhouse gases, trap heat from the sun. These gases allow sunlight to pass through but absorb some of the heat that is reflected back from the Earth's surface. This trapped heat helps to keep the planet warm, making it habitable for life. Fifth Descriptive Question what is climate change adaptation? Explain. Answer. Climate change adaptation is the process of preparing for and responding to the impacts of climate change. It involves implementing measures to reduce vulnerability to climate related risk, such as sea level rise, extreme weather events, and changes in agricultural productivity. Now, our sixth question. As the average temperature of the earth is increasing, how will it affect our life? Answer: The increasing average temperature of the earth, known as global warming, will have significant impacts on our lives in numerous ways. Here are some key areas of concern. Number 1. Extreme weather events, more frequent and intense heat waves, droughts, floods, and storms will become common. This can lead to property damage, infrastructure disruptions, and loss of life. Number 2. Rising sea levels. As glaciers and ice caps melt, sea levels will rise, leading to coastal erosion, flooding, and saltwater intrusion into freshwater sources. This will affect coastal communities, displace people, and damage infrastructure. Number 3. Changes in agricultural productivity. Warmer temperatures, altered rainfall patterns, and more extreme weather events can negatively impact crop fields and agricultural practices. This can lead to food shortages, price increases, and malnutrition. So students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, then don't forget to like, comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. And for new video, must subscribe our channel. So that's all for today. Assalamu alaikum.